Okay, so your compass extension is then to take the compass code you've made, and instead of saying north, south, east, or west, or N, S, um, E, and W on the screen, is to show a line pointing uh, in the direction that you're currently facing. So I'm now pointed to, to the east, so my line shows sort of to east on my compass. And as I rotate round, now I'm going sort of southeast, south, southwest, west, northwest, north, northeast, and so on. It continues to spin round. I can go backwards. Okay. So that's your extension. How do you go from saying the numbers, uh, no, sorry, the names of each point of the compass for only four points, so now you need to go to eight points and show a different pattern on the screen. Good luck. I'm going to help you get started with this week's extension task because it's a little tiny bit more complicated than the previous ones. So the extension task is, as you should have seen from the little video, um, is to have uh, a line that moves around the screen as you rotate um, around the point on your compass, okay? Now, to do this, um, we're doing more than the four points we've previously had. So the simplest thing would just be to get rid of where it says show north and instead show a sticking up line. And likewise, get rid of east and show a line pointing east. So that would be uh, a, a good simple start. However, we need a few more lines. We need the sort of diagonal ones in between. So we're actually going to have eight different points or positions in total. So to add those, we're going to need more else ifs. So let's go to our cog. Oops. And we're going to need to add four more else ifs. Slot them in. So we have eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. And I'm actually going to add a catch all on the bottom of else. Now it's knocked out some of my code, which is a little bit annoying, but we can fix that quite quickly. So let's have a little look. First of all, let's move this one down because we want to put one in between the two. Okay. And let's have a look. We're going to want to show a line pointing northeast. And we want that to appear when we're looking at sort of either side of, of 45 degrees. So that line would be 45 degrees. But again, let's use our sort of 20 degrees rule. So if we grab this one, because it's got the and, and pop it in, and say, well, we'll go between 25 and 65 degrees. And that should give us enough boundary for that one to appear. And if we have in our else, just to simple clear the screen, then if we're not pointing inside one of these boundaries, because there are some gaps, this one runs up to 20, but then this one starts at 25. So there's a little gap there where we're not really between the two, um, or we are between the two, and we don't have anything to draw on the screen. And in that circumstance, we just show an empty screen. So that should be enough to get you started. Um, you're just going to use LEDs instead of showing a string. You need to extend your else if so that you've got more options. And then you just need to set up more boundaries between which the compass heading is in the right place to trigger the particular line that you're interested in.